Uganda's debt burden now stands at over 65 trillion shillings. The transport sector accounts for 30.9%, budget support 26%, as well as energy 12.5%. These loans are mainly from the World Bank, African Development Bank, International Monetary Fund and the Exim Bank of China. Despite the huge borrowing, there has been a low absorption of the borrowed funds, with some loans performing at such poor rates as 10%, yet accruing interest. However, all this is happening under the watch of the Department of Monitoring and Evaluation, under the office of the Prime Minister, with a full ministry under the office of the President, in charge of economic monitoring. The State Minister for Economic Monitoring, Peter Ogwang, believes they are ready to reverse the trend. I am emphasizing on the borrowed funds which are not being put into use, which use would have spurred our economy to grow. That's why now I'm coming up with a, prog with a program. Within my office, there's a responsible officer which is mandated to track which are these projects which are whose money were borrowed and they are not being put to work. Heavy bureaucracies during the procurement process, lack of counterpart funding and corruption among civil servants, especially accounting officers, has come under scrutiny for poor performance of the government loans. That in the Ministry of Water and Environment, there's a project of water graph, water graph scheme in Ibududa, which is behind schedule despite government releasing funds. Fundamental questions come in. Why haven't you implemented this project? Why is it below schedule? This is what the initiatives we are bringing in to make this government an efficient government which is accountable to the citizens of this country. Ogwanga, who addressed the press at Media Center, says his ministry will soon embark on a countrywide exercise of monitoring government programs, with Yiva and Andruviri's districts being the first target. The eight districts of Bonyoro sub-region will be Ogwanga's next stopover between 14th and 30th September. I am going to be everywhere to look at projects of government which had been planned. That's why when I talk about a dashboard, you and me know I was in ICT. A dashboard which I intend to introduce in government and specifically in office of the president is one which is able to put the entire budget which you and me can be able to have an access. Which projects are planned for implementation in that financial year as per the budget released? The emphasis of his trip will be on health, education, engineering, water, natural resources and community-based services during the monitoring period. Herbert Ziwa, NTV Weekend Edition.